down, man. Suitcase this, my cell phone, I'm a charger, don't walk with a limp. You get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it. Next time I see you, you gon' leave airlifted. What's up, man? Everybody, you already know, man. Welcome back to K for All TV. Y'all hit that like, subscribe button. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. I might as well say, welcome back to Prison Meals for K-Frog. Right, as you see, I got all the uh, all the fixings and ingredients laid out. Today, I'm going to be making the best chip goulash, which is basically there's no noodles in it. It is literally just chips and a couple other things. This is one of the things that I started eating all the way back in 2009 when I was 19 years old in the county jail in max custody, black and white. This is a, 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 a quick goulash of just strictly chips that I feel is the best chip goulash. So y'all tune in. I'm going to break it down step by step for y'all and let y'all see for the most part what it is we need to use. Okay. Importantly, flaming Hots. Got to have flaming Hots. This is one thing that is in majority of goulages, whether it's a chip goulage, you know, or... In prison, when they make the bowls, a brick, no matter what it is, Flamin' Hots is always there. Got your Doritos, barbecue Lay's, sour cream and cheddar, Ruffles, and sour cream and onion Lay's. All right. What else we have right here that's going to be going in this is your standard beef and cheese sticks. It's all up to you how much you like to put in there. If you want to use one, you can use one. Today, we're going to be using two. Mandatory, Tijuana Mama. This right here is another major key ingredient that is used in everything in county jail that we put on all of our foods, whether it's goulages, whether it's a soup, or whether it's the food they supply you, that they give you when it's feeding time, child time. Tijuana Mamas are very important, 300% hotter. Not the big mamas, but the Tijuana Mamas. All right. Any kind of beef jerky or whatever. We used to use kippered beef when I was locked up. I'm going to go ahead and use this beef steak right here. All right. A lot of people are going to look at me kind of crazy now, but granola bar. The honey and oat granola bar is the one that we used to use. So this is the one we're going to be using today. Now, the most important ingredient of them all, believe it or not, is apple jelly. It's a very important ingredient. You know... You won't believe what I went through to get this. I had to go to four places for this, literally. Don't do me like that, Publix, man. Come on, Publix, don't do me like that. Damn, Target don't even have a section for them, man. Don't do me like that, Target, man. Don't do me like that. Walmart don't have a section either. God. See, so it plays a big part when it comes to this goulash. And of course, I chose apple because that's the kind they give you when you're incarcerated. They give it to you in a package so you could see the jelly. They want to make sure there's nothing in it. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. First thing you want to do is you want to break down all your chips. Okay. So let's start with this bag, the ruffles. You just want to crush them all down. All right. And like I said, this is something I used to eat all the time. I actually had a bunkie in my room that was being extorted before I got put in that room. So instead of him being extorted, you know, when I got put in the room, I went to um, I went to court one day and it happened to be the day canteen was coming. And when I came back from court, you know, the officer told me to run upstairs, grab my bin so I could get my canteen that was left inside the, the officer station because I wasn't there when they handed it out. And um, when I went in there to grab my bin, I pulled my bin out from under my bed. It was actually filled with my Bunkies canteen. You know, so now I'm like, damn, bro. You know, I dumped it all on the ground. I went over there, you know, I, and I went I went down to the officer station, boom, grabbed all my canteen. Went back to my, my you know, my room. Next thing you know, my Bunkie come up to me. He's like, oh, we could just leave it all in your locker. I mean, all in your bin. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, so that way I ain't got to worry about no one coming in here or whatever. They respect you. You know, they'll think it's yours. We'll just all eat out of one bin. So I said, what? I said, man, I ain't really on that. You feel me? Because I didn't really know my bunky like that. And I didn't, um, you know, I mean, I didn't really, 
You know, he, he had caught a body. He was in there for a murder. And, um, you know, he actually was in there for, you know, beating a bum. Killing a bum over a cell phone. It happened back in Fort Lauderdale. It happened in Fort Lauderdale. This was back in 2009. Well, I think it happened with him in back in 2008 or something like that. But he had been in there a while. So I didn't really like the reason, you know, he committed his offense or whatever. So I didn't really respect him like that. So it was more like, shit, all right, well, boy, then it's like, you ain't going to be paying them. You know, I'm not going to charge you, but we're going to be eating. And then he was like, all right, all right. And every single night I'd be downstairs on the jail phone. And, you know, I would I would look up to the window. I was in room six. And he'd come to the door. I'd be like, yo, I'd be like, whip a goulash. He'd be like, all right. You know, and I was doing him a favor so no one would try to come put down on him. A couple people used to come to our door and try to get stuff from him. And I used to be like, it ain't nothing, bro. You feel me? Because he was my bunkie now. So, shit, you know, I'm going to go ahead and make fun of it while it lasts. So, this was the goulash that we used to eat all the time. These were the items that we chose. It's very cheap, you know. So this right here is what we chose to, you know, whip up. And to me, it is literally the best chip goulash. You know, when you get to prison, people use more than just chips. You know, they use different, um, you know, uh, soups and a lot of things and stuff like that. All right, so I'm going to be using this right here, this Ziploc, so that way y'all can see it do its magic. Put this last bag down right here. And I'm using all the items that we have in there. To be as realistic as it can be for y'all. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and pour all these bags one by one in this big bag. You know, so I can mix it up. And there we would use, you know, either a trash bag or, you know, you get a brand new trash bag from the runaround. You know, you can get a bread bag, you know, stuff like that. Wherever you get a big bag, there's, there's always different ways to get big bags. And then the way that I learned from being locked up is you pick out your two best bags that you want to keep. Most likely I'll probably keep these two right here. And you clean as you go. Just grab all these, bada boom, bada bing, just like that. Stick them to the side right there, okay? Now I have all my chips in one bag, all right? Now we're going to break down these Tijuana Mamas, and what you want to do is you want to smush them. You smush them real good so it's all like mucky and all, you know, chopped down. You want to you break it into as much little pieces as you can. Try not to pop the wrapper because anyone that knows about this, Knows if you push too hard on one side, the sausage is going to slide up and pop your wrapper. You don't want to pop your wrapper just yet. You just want to push it just enough to smear it. All right. And then I'll show y'all what it looks like when it's fully, you know, busted down the right way. So for the most part, you got your chips. We're going to add the, you know, the, the meats in there right now. I'm going to break down the beef and cheese sticks, the granola bar. And, you know, we're going to go from there. Now, it depends on you how spicy you like it, if you like it hot, if you if you like it a little hot. However it is, it depends on you how you do it. So this is how you're going to break your sausage down. You want it to be smeared just like this, okay? I'm going to break down this one as well. We may not use it all. It all depends on how this is, you know. And the thing about the, the Tijuana Mama... What's good about it is, is it adds wetness to the goulash. So the goulash isn't too dry. You don't want it too dry. When this thing's whipped up, it is literally going to be like a sweet and spicy. If you like sweet and spicy sauce, that's exactly how this is going to taste when it's done. The sweetness from the granola bar, the jelly, of course, puts a dazzle on it. And then, you know, the heat from the flaming Hots play a big part. And then these Tijuana Mamas. You know, of course, these are hot. If anyone's ever ate these, they know you can literally eat a bite or two of it and your mouth will be on fire. But I've ate them so many times that it's normal to me now. All right, so now that we have these broke down like this, 
Bada boom, as y'all can see, they're both broke down how we want them broke down. The finer you break them down, the better. Okay, now the granola bar. All you want to do, same thing. This granola bar, you know there's two hard pieces in there, the honey oat. You just want to break it to where it's all dust. It's going to be all chalky. A couple little pieces will be in there that you miss, but it's all right. That's what you actually want. It's going to blend right into the goulage to where you're not even going to know it's a granola bar. It's going to just, you'll get the, just the taste of the sweetness with the honey. Okay, so that's broke down. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to do my beef and cheese sticks. All right. And what I have here is to save me time with the beef and cheese sticks, because you know in jail we use our IDs or you know or or whatever it may be, or you know, or you got to just sit there and break it down. But what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna use this bag right here. I bought scissors, so I could go like this and just cut it into pieces. Just cut little pieces in the bag, little by little, like this. And then, you know, it makes it easier. Oh, drop the piece, but it's all right. You get more in the bag. There we go. So that way, you know, you get it like this. You know, just to hurry up and, and do it. So that way, y'all ain't sitting here watching me cut this up that damn long. All right, there's one. Put my wrapper over here. And do this other one. Now, when this thing's done, it's going to look like a, a painting. It's gonna look so beautiful. It's gonna make it's gonna to me, it makes me think of a painting, how beautiful it looks. I don't know if it's just because I done did so much time that I take, you know, goulages, you know, as something, you know, they're not promised. You could be in there starving. So to me, I look at them like they're worth, you know, a lot at the time. Okay. Now that we have this, let me go ahead and add the granola bar. Like I said, you want a nice chalk form. Add this granola bar like that in there. Boom. All right. Now I'm going to leave some air in it so you got room for everything to move so that way you don't put a hole in the bag. See what I'm saying? Go ahead and move all this around. Get everything all, you know, when you, when you, when you leave space in it, it's easier to shake. You don't leave air in it. You might risk putting a hole in the bag. You don't want to put a hole in the bag, of course. Okay. Look at that. Look how, look how it's already coming together. As you see right there. Boom. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut up this, this beef steak, too. Cut this up as well, also. I was going to wait, but I'll cut it up. As well. All right. Grab this. Scissors are really coming in handy because, you know, when it comes to something like this, you just want little pieces of it. You know, you don't really put big pieces. You just cut it in different pieces. Nice little small pieces. You know, like this. Get this all out the way for y'all. And like I said, this, this goulage right here just brings back memories. It's got me through some of the toughest times of my life, facing, you know, serious numbers in there. And, you know, it's just something that I always, when it comes to ordering, when I first went to jail, you know, we had to order on a kiosk machine. You had to like, I mean, before that, it was like a, it looked like the FCAT. There was like a sheet and you had to bubble in everywhere the things you want. It was like that first. Then they changed it to the kiosk machine. And I literally like look at everything as if, you know, like, oh, I got to have that. I got to have that. And the first thing I want to do is make a goulage. And the reason for that is the way it works in Broward County is when you order your canteen, you don't get it till the week after. So you're going to be in jail probably almost three weeks by the time you get your canteen. Because by the time you get transferred to where you're actually landing, you don't miss canteen day. So you're not ordering that week to get it next week. You're going to have to wait till the following week to order just to get it the week after that. So you're looking at 21 days or better of not even eating good. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add these Tijuana Mamas. All right, just 
chip this open with these scissors real quick. Boom. And like I said, it's all on how, you know, how hot you want it. If you want it spicy, then you would add two, you know. One whole Tijuana Mama is a lot, believe it or not, you know. And what it is is, you know, the Tijuana Mama, like I said, is wet. It makes it to where the goulash isn't dry. But the Tijuana Mama at the same time gets chips all in it, all around it. See that? Look at that. That's one sausage already. Shake it on up like this real quick. And then with the Tijuana Mama, as you shake it up, you want to smear it as well. You want to flatten it out so it's not just straight chunks. You get what I'm saying? You can literally let some air out of the bag on this part. And you just go like this, wherever there's Tijuana Mama. Like I can feel that it's, it's wet right now, the, the goulash. Just from that one sausage, I can tell it's already wet. You can feel it in the bag. You can feel how it's different from the way it was before. All right. But now I'm going to go ahead. I like it spicy, so I'm going to add two. All right. So let me go ahead and add this other one real quick for y'all. Like I said, this right here is the best chip goulash. I'll put uh, one and a half. How about that? You don't want it too wet. Because I still got to add the gel. All right. Like that. Go ahead and shake this on up. And it's kind of crazy because the jelly, you know, they used to take it from us. You're not allowed to bring it back to your cell. The food they give you in there, you're not allowed to bring back to your cell. So they give you apple jelly that you can actually see in the wrapper. And you're not allowed to bring it back to your cell. But... You could order a peanut butter and jelly combo pack, which is a gel, a gel, look like a gogur. If anyone knows what gogur is, it looks like two of those. One's peanut butter, one's jelly, and they're stuck together, but you can't see in them. Instead of the little jelly pack they give you of jelly that you can see in, which is only this big, you're allowed to have the big one off the canteen that you can't see in your room, but you're not allowed to have the one that, you know, they can see and they, you know, supply you with it. On peanut butter and jelly days or, you know, on your breakfast trays or anything like that. Okay, I feel that it is getting very good and wet. All right. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks already. You could see it's getting, it, it's already wet. You could tell by how it's stiffened, how it's stiffened. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I got this bag right here. Because I'm smart. I've been doing this a long time. I'm going to go ahead and get this brand new thing of jelly, right? I'm going to go ahead and put a nice big old glob in this bag. I'll put two globs. If I don't use it all, it don't matter. Two globs of jelly in this big old bag right here. Just in case I got to add more. And then I'm going to close this bag. And I'm going to mush this jelly to where it's nice and ran down. Because it looked like a lot of jelly. But really it's not. Okay, I'm going to mush it to where it's all nice and ran down. Just to, you know, to where it's more like a jam than jelly. Then I'm going to go ahead and push it all to the edge in the corner like this. Boom. Boom. All right. I'm going to twist this. I usually tie a knot in it, but I'm not sure if I'll need more or not. And then I'll take these scissors and just put a little hole right here in the tip of this, like that, right there. Well, I didn't want to cut it, y'all. Normally we just bite it, but I'm trying to make it look better for the video. There we go. Okay, so now I can add my jelly. I add the jelly all in it like this. Boom, I'll put half in there now. Okay, go like this, shake it on up. Shake that jelly all up in there. It's going to start glumping up. Okay, and like I said, I put it in this clear bag. You know, because I wanted y'all to see as it's being done. You know, normally we use the chip bags. That's why I saved the two chip bags, because the two chip bags is what it's going to be, you know, in after you eat. 
And believe it or not, the longer you let this sit after you make it, like if you bake it and you put it in the cell, and or you don't want to eat right then and there, it actually locks up due to the jelly. It stiffens up. So it's all sticks together. Okay. Boom. Now I'm going to open this and add a little more of this jelly right here. All right. And it's to the point to where, you know, you could taste test it if you want, but I know it's good. So I can add more jelly. I ain't got to really taste test it or nothing. But then again, like I said, it depends on what it is you like. But don't knock it until you try it. That's for sure. Okay, you want to get that jelly all in there. Go like this, smearing it so that way you know it's getting over everything. You want to smear it around. And I'm telling you, this alone is the best chip goulash. All right. As you can see, it's almost getting there. Okay. I'm going to add this, the rest of this jelly right here. I may add the rest of that Tijuana Mama. That was the taste test of the jelly. <laughs> nah, I'm just All right. And what you want it to do is, is you'll see it starts to lock up. When I say that, I mean like, look. Can you see it? Look at it, it literally locks up. Which is exactly what you want it to do. You just want to make sure it's got all the jelly in it everywhere. Flatten it out so that way you get it all on there. And like I said, if you follow this recipe right here, which is not even a recipe, it's really just a put together. Look at that. Look at that it stands up, y'all. If you follow this recipe right here, I guarantee you, you won't be let down. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of this Tijuana Mama because I ain't gonna do nothing else with it. And then I'll go ahead and put, I'll put one half in one of the bags and I'll leave the other half in this bag as it bricks up real quick, just so that way y'all can see it. You know, I want y'all to see it, how it looks locked up. So hold on, let me go like this. Make sure I get this all mixed up. And like I said, I could just feel the difference right now. It doesn't even feel like straight potato chips right now. You could just tell and you can you can you'll be able to feel it as you're as you're whipping it up, you'll be able to tell that it's ready. Alright. Alrighty. Now for the hard part. Pouring it in here. Which, I'm going to show y'all how we actually did it in jail. And the way that was, we actually use a cup. I don't have the kind of cups they use, but this is how you do it evenly. You get a cup. You know, everyone would... Bring their chip bag or pick whatever chip bag they decide to keep. And, you know, a cup for him. Like I said, I'm not putting that other one in there. And then it would be a cup for the next guy. You know, as you see, it's locking up. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. I'm just going to put the majority of it in here. All right, I'll do one more cup. One more. And that should be good. All righty. And that is a big, big uh, chip goulash right here. 
Like if you could see right now, look how nice this looks. Watch this. Look at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this like this. Stick him right there. This one right here. What I'll do here is I'll put this all in one corner like this. Just like that. And then all you do is you wait for it to be done. You can eat it right now if you want. But like I said, the longer you let it sit, the more it stiffens due to the jelly and the wetness of the chips. Now, normally you'll get chips wet, they get soggy. This is not like that. Look at that. Just perfectly ready to go. All right. Let me go ahead and um, I'm going to bring my camera over here so you can see what it looks like when I open the bag. I'm going to go ahead and open this and show y'all how it ended up coming out. All right. Like I said, the longer you let it sit, the more it locks up. Look at that. Look at that. You see how nice that is? Look at that. Let me look at look, just look at it. Let me zoom into it. Show y'all how it is, how it's nice and stiffened. Okay? And that's exactly how this is gonna be. This right here is already locked up like a shaped like a diamond. But anyways. I appreciate y'all watching this video. I'm telling y'all now, give it a try. Don't knock it before you try it. I appreciate all y'all that took the time to watch it. Make sure you get the apple jelly. All right, um, I'm gonna see y'all next time. I got more cooking videos coming.